The city of Philadelphia is one of rich history and passion, and you can always count on the ladder when you step inside Lincoln Financial Field. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. play action love to throw and it's knocked away and incomplete and that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw you at least put in the defenders minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary and that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25 now love incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple big complete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. To pass. Here's Jordan Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a three and out to start the game would have been a real disappointment. So this is a nice job of finding something you think will work and executing it. And they're able to keep this opening drive going. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From just shy of midfield, here's second and six. Here's Love. Fighting to stay upright. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Can't give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. Now third down and very long. Working out of the gun. Love. And the pressure gets to him again. The sack there by Brandon Graham coming in and bringing him down to the ground. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively. And not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback, maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Rashawn Gary that time through the line and getting the tackle for loss. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now here's a throw that's complete. A gain of eight there on the play. Third and seven now. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Now third down and seven. Here's Hurts to throw. Packer pressure and down he goes. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. 
It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. It will go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return, and it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Jordan Love ready on first down here. A short throw to Musgrave, and up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. On first and 10, Love. Pass caught, it's Romeo Dobbs. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Love, they go play action now. And his throw here is incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. That is caught. And he's going to have a Packers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. They'll run with a big back, A.J. Dillon. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Second and a couple. Jacob's going to try the middle. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Haven't met a defense coordinator yet. The thing second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. The playbook is wide open for an offense partner. Nice job holding to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field. And I don't think he got there. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. They'll run for it with Dillon. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive is a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay. And it's a Packers touchdown! Romeo Dobbs 
from 19 yards away. And the Packers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. Well, now how about this return? He's to midfield. Still going past the 30. And he will score. Touchdown, Eagles. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Elliott good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. now as they kick it away. Keyshawn Nixon now going to bring it out of his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. So five yards here, five on the play. And now it's third and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Dillon. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a roll right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? <laughs> You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And it will be Eagles football first and 10.
They go play action with Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Brown goes in motion left. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as they're going Stephen Barkley. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. These two teams all tied after one. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down as they've got it as we resume action. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 22-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Parker, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles have taken the lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Packers ready to take over offensively. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Love now to pass on first down. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route. And that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Second and ten. Love. A short throw to Musgrave. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. This will be third and six. 
Again, it's Love. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Play action this time with Love. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. Play fake. Here's Love. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. Call it a gain of three on the play. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Love from the gun on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 30. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. A first down run with Jacobs won't get a whole lot, maybe a yard, but that's about all, and it's second down. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles' 20-yard line. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Love looking to throw it. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Romeo Dobbs with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Packers are an extra point away from drawing level. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth 
if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Good work after the catch, gets him 15 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing his hurts. This will be caught once again by Brown. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. But first down, Hurts. Over the middle, complete. It's Smith. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. Hurts. the tackle is made at about the five. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Hurt sets up to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. They only have the run for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers with a football here late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. First down, going to the air with Love. That's to the tight end, Musgrave. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Love now. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. To throw now, here's Love. Pressure too great, and he goes down once more. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Need something for deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? And here's Daniel wheeling on now to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Final 12 seconds of the half now as they've got it first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Play action. Here's Hurts. This one complete down the field to Goddard. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's nearly a 40-yard gain on the opening play of the quarter. Let's just call it, as we just saw it right there, a breakdown defensively. Seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Hurts his throw brought in by Brown. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Give him 32 on the play. 
Oh, I think we all understand his disappointment. He didn't quite get to the end zone, and you know it's just got to be tough to see a yard line underneath you after a play like that. Still, all in all, a huge play, and now they're set up first and goal at the one. Barkley is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful job. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. They make their second half debut here. and Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, the next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Second down, love. Completed out to left to Dubs. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. They'll come out in a four-receiver look. Three men to the right side on second and six. Here's Love. Yeah, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Eight yards there on a first down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. We know that old expression, it's not my night. 
it hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. inside the 30 75 yards receiving for him now it's a first down and he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit now they look to him again he picks up the first yeah I can hear everyone saying well why don't you cover him double him triple him do what you have to do but sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area he certainly looks to be in that groove right now Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now a second and ten. Working out of the gun. Love. And it is incomplete. But it looked like it marched to the end zone. He's hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now again, it's Love. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have it here just past the 25. On first and 10, it's Hurts. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll make it second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Hurts to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Smith catches left side. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Hurts throw right here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And yeah, Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he'll get this down to the 40. Give him two on the play there. And it'll be a Philadelphia first down. They got completion there. That's clearly an example of one side happy, the other side not very happy. Defense, very, <laughs> hey, take one or two yards. We're good with that. Offense, you've got to expect to get more on the passing play. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Now a second and two. This 
Short throw caught by Goddard. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Throwing his hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Out to it. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. And they visited the end zone frequently in this one, and obviously they wanted another one. But give credit to the defense there. They may not make the comeback, but pride showed good sack on that play. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown. 34 yards, and the Eagles have moved out in front by three touchdowns. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me, very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me, and they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that, so you really give yourself an advantage. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Once again, it's Jacobs. Pushes past him, pushing his way through. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 69 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. One of the good things offenses did years ago was they lettered their gaps the same on each side. A gap between guard and center on either side. That's what you want to control when you're trying to run the ball up the middle. And why is that? Because typically you either have a big nose guard in there in an odd front, three-man front, or you have defensive tackles that might line up in the A gaps trying to gain an advantage and get upfield themselves. If you can control that, it gives the back plenty of space to pick and choose where to go. And there, a great inside run broke the contact and got some space. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. Love. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports.
Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. First down, love to pass. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Now a second down throw for Love here. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Going back to Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Jacobs. Going to be stopped before he can get moving forward as he'll lose a couple back to the five-yard line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. I thought they were onto something with their play call and kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? And he's going to take it in. Touchdown. Jordan Love, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Packers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away yeah i think here's the situation you're not thinking touchdowns anymore you're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away first downs they can't touch the ball they begin with a run by barkley and he'll take this ahead for about four second down coming up now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. The throw down the field, caught by his running back. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 
That one a gain of 20 and a first down. The passing game continues to be their friend. Even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles, they're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 59 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. So nothing doing there, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here's second and 10. In motion left comes Brown. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And this Green Bay defense making that play look a lot like the previous one. Both tackles behind the line of scrimmage. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays. And they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. Well, you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Packers offense set to go. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. They work now on second and nine. Now Love. Open man is Musgrave, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Seven catches for him now, and this last one, a first down. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth, but a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches 
You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. To pass, here's Jordan Love. The short throw to Musgrave. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Third and three. Love looking to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can't go with a, try go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. And that goes for a gain of 31. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. Touchdown! Luke Musgrave. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers are able to cut into that deficit. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. Yeah, Brandon, I think that our guys at Next Gen Stats in charge of the win probability are probably saying your chances still aren't great. But now, you still got more than three minutes to go. You got to focus on the task at hand, which is going to be getting the football back as quickly as possible. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Eagles' hands team able to cover it up. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. You don't see that a ton, do you, with a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle? That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Hurts sets up to throw it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And now right out of the two-minute break, 
We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25 to will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. So here's Love and the Packers. Down by 10. A minute 51 on the clock. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery. But first things first. First and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Here comes second down at five. Now Love. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Well, you don't have to beg the Philly faithful to make noise on their feet for third down. Love looking to throw it. He's going to let it fly. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Well, they are not going to go quietly. That's a big play right there. Two scores down. They're not out of this, but they've got to move. Two timeouts remaining, but time is of the essence. Down two scores. It's first and 10. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Reed. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. This is first and 10. Here's Love. This is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. So still a little over 40 seconds to go. Time enough to put a drive together if they can get this onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Oh, 
Hurts down to one knee, and that should just about do it. Well, taking that knee, maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it? In the fourth quarter, they had to just hold on. As you said, furious assault on them, but they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. A couple more minutes, and maybe the outcome of this one, Charles, would have been different, but ultimately time runs out on the comeback, so it falls short, and they hold on to win this by just one possession. Not the fourth quarter they wanted, but they did earn the win, and they'll be happy about that, and they should be. Now they're going to go back to practice, see what they can do to prevent a future lead from slipping away like this one was. So that'll do.